Anna Vella, welcome to my channel. Um, like I said before, uh, the purpose of my channel is to promote or to talk about uh, books from my part of the world, and that is uh, Belgium and, Ho and the Netherlands. Holland, we are used to say, we are so used to saying uh, Holland, but the Dutch don't like that very much. But anyway, um, there is a new exciting voice for you to discover. Finally, finally, Hanna Bervoets is a Dutch author who lives in Amsterdam and uh, she is an excellent storyteller. She writes in the style of Amélie Nothon, so if you like her kind of works, you'll definitely, definitely like this one too. Um, the story is about Kaylee, and she is in need of a job, and she starts working as a content, content moderator for Hexa, which is a subcontractor for a YouTube kind of platform. So all day long, she and her co-workers have to watch very, very shocking and gross content, following very complex and, and absurd and, and very strict protocols. So uh, she has to use the protocols to, to decide if they can be published or not. And slowly, um, yeah, as you can imagine, all the gross things you can see and all the sick people that there are already, uh, you, can, you can see that it has a, a tremendous and crushing effect on her and her co-workers. And uh, it changes their worldviews, it changes their relationships, their beliefs. Um, they start developing mental issues and, and drugs and alcohol are getting more and more uh, necessary to cope with the things they see. But for Kaylee too, it has a profound uh, effect on her and her relationship with, um, what's her name, Sigrid? Sigrid, yeah, I think it's Sigrid. I'm sorry, I, did, I forgot. It has been a while since I've read this book uh, or novella, short novella who is also an ex-employer of Hexa and uh, she noticed that she really gets numb in a way by all the things she sees and <coughs> excuse me it's it's oh, it really is an eye-opener and um, you know the way the story is told and the angle the story is told is also very interesting. It's sort of a confession she makes to um, a lawyer who is hired uh, by other ex-employees of Hexa and they want to uh, start a, a lawsuit against Hexa for uh, the mental damage they have suffered from watching all that gross content and in such a high rate. So uh, during her confession, she tells actually what has happened to her. Um, this book was written, uh, this novella, because it's very short, it's under 100 pages, is written for uh, a Book Week gift. Book Week is an organization between uh, the Netherlands and Belgium. Uh, it's a week where, uh, when you buy a book in a, in an online store or even in a brick and mortar store, you get a, a novella for free. And Hanna Benvoet was asked to write it, and uh, <laughs> funny enough, it has become her breakthrough in other countries. It is crushing to read. It's very disturbing to read. It's um, also brilliantly done. It's not superficial at all. It could use quite a few more pages to tell a story. And the ending is a bit rushed, but you, uh, when you uh, read the novella, it, it's something that um, you will keep, it'll get stuck in your mind for a very long time. And it's brilliantly, brilliantly written. I've 
also worked for us uh, during COVID. I had um, I'm self-employed, and during COVID, I had uh, a whole lot less work, and I had to work in a call center for a while and. Uh, the way she describes the environment and uh, the way you have to... It's, it's a sort of modern slave labor. You know, you're very underpaid. You uh, have to work in very difficult uh, conditions. People shout at you all the time. Uh, you have to ask for permission to go to the loo and stuff like that. Uh, it's, uh, you only have so many minutes to go to the loo and <laughs> stuff. It really is mind blowing. It's, it's, it's a mind fuck. And the way she describes it is very well done. And the way uh, you feel the, the, the numbness of Kaylee and how she deals with the situation is very real and very uh, tactile. And uh, it's, it's really um, an amazing, an amazing book, oh, novella. Um, it's, uh, I hope it'll uh, open up uh, an avenue for Hannah Bervoets to get all of her other, some of her other works are translated. The books I've read were brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Like uh, there's a book called uh, Lieve Celine, uh, Dear Celine, which is about uh, a mentally challenged or uh, yeah, mentally challenged girl who is a huge fan of uh, Celine Dion, and uh, she writes her through her fan letters you learn to know about the, the protagonist and uh, the terrible things she endures that's also oh, oh that's really a slap in the face that book um yeah it's it's brilliant it's a book that was supposed to be a freebie and for the people that have that book like me. And we are very fortunate to, to have read it and now it'll finally be uh, released to you and I hope, I hope, I hope that you will take the time to discover Hannah Barefoot. She is really brilliant. People who have uh, watched Netflix movie Anna Plus uh, will have heard mentioning her name because she is uh, quite often mentioned in that book, uh, in that movie. So yeah, she's important as a, um, a lesbian writer. So that's why she's uh, mentioned in that uh, film. So yeah, that's it. Um, talk to you later. Bye bye.